Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Dentistified. I hope you all are doing good. So today's video will give you a brief overview about fixed partial dentures, their objectives, components of fixed partial dentures and advantages of FPD over RPD. As we already know that the restoration of edentulous areas with fixed partial dentures definitely presents a challenge for the clinician as it requires a definite skill of course. However, the conventional FPDs are one of the most popular treatment options today. Why? Because of their ease of use and favorable long-term effects. So, if you want to gain some quick information about the topic then you must continue watching this video. So a fixed partial denture is basically a fixed dental restoration which is used to replace one or more missing teeth and it is retained to the natural teeth or tooth roots or even dental implants which act as abutments. That means these natural teeth, tooth roots or dental implants, they all can act as abutments. So these abutments are present on either side of the gap or these are present on either side of the missing teeth. The abutment teeth require preparation and reduction in order to support the prosthesis and in FPD it is the abutments that bear the stress of mastication and the choice of abutments definitely influences the prognosis of the treatment. So the abutments, they can either be uh, primary abutments or they can be secondary abutments. So primary abutment is the one which is adjacent to the edentular space. Okay, And secondary abutment are those which are remote or away from the edentular space. So every dental restoration must be able to withstand the constant occlusion forces to which it is subjected. And these abutments, they bear the occlusion forces and definitely they have a significant effect on the success of a restoration. Another thing is that, uh, that unlike RPDs, the FPDs can be placed and removed only by the dentist and not by the patient. Okay. So now we'll talk about the objectives of fixed partial dentures. First objective of FPD is to restore masticatory function. So as we already know that the loss of molars has greater impact on the patient's ability to masticate. It results in decrease in masticatory efficiency with which the food is broken up and the patient tends to swallow larger food particles which leads to digestive system problems and FPDs help to replace the missing teeth and restore the masticatory function. So the next objective of fixed partial dentures is to improve patient's appearance and speech. So loss of teeth especially in the anterior region of the mouth has a significant impact on the patient aesthetics. Loss of teeth causes the cheek to exhibit a sunken in appearance and wrinkle lines are formed at the commissures or the wrinkles are formed at the angle of the mouth. So fixed partial dentures help to improve patient's appearance by replacing the missing teeth particularly in the anterior region of the mouth by restoring proper lip support which is provided by the teeth. Okay. So another thing is that loss of teeth also has a significant impact on a patient's speech, particularly where teeth are required for proper pronunciation of certain sounds or alphabets. Obviously, FPD helps to improve the patient's speech by replacing the missing teeth. So the next objective of FPD is to stabilize the arc form and occlusion. So what happens is that when a tooth is lost, teeth on either side of the edentulous piece, they have a tendency to tilt towards the gap and fill that gap. And the opposing teeth, they continue to erupt into the gaps as we can see here in this picture. So such movement of teeth results in disruption of the structural integrity of the dental arc. 
okay and such movement also results in discrepancy of the occlusal scheme so therefore it is really essential to replace this lost tooth as early as possible and this can be achieved with the help of a fixed partial denture so another objective of fixed partial denture is to promote good oral hygiene so now we'll talk about the components of fixed partial denture a fixed partial denture is made up of three main components first is retainer then there is pontic and the third one is connector as we can see here in this picture so all these components of a fixed partial denture are fabricated and assembled in a laboratory before cementation in the patient's mouth now let's talk about the retainer so retainer is that part of fixed partial denture which is usually a, a full coverage crown or it can be a partial coverage crown so the retainer is cemented to the abutment as we can see here and it unites the abutment to the remainder of the fixed restoration so it is the retainer which provides retention and stabilization this means that the retainer retains the prosthesis as the name suggests against the vertical forces okay and it provides resistance against the horizontal and oblique dislodging forces so next we'll talk about the pontex the pontex or an artificial tooth is the main component of a fixed partial denture that replaces the missing tooth pontex restores the function of mastication and speech by filling the space which was previously filled by the natural tooth so the pontex is responsible to stabilize the occlusion and it also maintains the adjacent teeth relationship pontex improves the aesthetics and satisfies the patient's psychological needs so there are different pontex designs and materials which are available and these will be discussed in detail in a separate video pontex being an integral part of a fixed partial denture its selection should be done after proper evaluation of the pontex space aesthetics then ridge contour then occlusion should also be evaluated and oral hygiene habits of the patient now the next component of fpd is the connector so the connectors are the smallest and the most carefully designed components of fixed partial denture because their position and design plays an important role for the success of the dental restoration a connector is that portion of fixed partial denture which unites the retainers and the pontex as we can see here in this picture Now we'll talk about the advantages of fixed partial dentures over removable partial dentures. So FPD may have certain advantages over RPD. In FPD there are no clasps or acrylic base which makes it more stable and comfortable for the patient as compared to RPD. Because RPD is more bulky due to the presence of clasps and acrylic denture base. okay and fpd is also more aesthetic as compared to rpd because it does not contain clasps or acrylic denture base and uh, if we talk about speech fpd rarely causes any difficulty in speech as in fpd the size of pontex is almost similar to that of the teeth which are being replaced whereas in removable partial denture which is bulky of course due to the presence of clasps and acrylic denture base it may induce difficulty in speech also the acrylic which is present in removable partial dentures may sometimes result in gingival irritation whereas fpd does not irritate or apply any pressure on the tissues next advantage is that fpd is easier to be cleaned by tooth brushing and if proper flossing is done under the pontex fpd can provide stable occlusion more than a removable partial denture and it can also provide splinting action 
and space maintaining which is better than a removable partial denture. Another advantage is that FPD is generally more preferable for disabled or handicapped patients because it can be maintained easily as compared to RPD. Then there are also anatomic limitations for removable partial dentures which include abnormally large tongue or if there is a mandibular tori or even palatal tissue coverage in case of uh, maxillary removable partial dentures or if there is any muscular disorder. So yeah, that is it for today. I hope that today's lecture gave you a clear understanding about the components of a fixed partial denture and various advantages of FPD over RPD. I'll discuss about the indications, contraindications, advantages and disadvantages of FPD in my next video. So stay tuned for that. So do like this video if you found it helpful and if you want me to make more such videos then consider subscribing to this channel. Press the notification bell which is next to the subscribe button so that you will get notified whenever I post a new video. And also don't forget to share it with your friends and colleagues. You can also drop your suggestions about the topics you want me to cover in the comment section below. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Till then, take care.